What's up everybody, welcome back to another movie commentary. Now today I'm going to be watching two other boys I've loved before. Now I've seen the second movie trailer. It's kind of weird because I haven't seen the first movie. Now initially people have been telling me to watch this and I kind of thought it was like a assassin movie. Like the girl is going after all of her ex-boyfriends and just killing them because they're dicks. That could have been a cool movie. But it's no killing. Okay. No killing jokes in this movie, unless it deserves it, because I've been saying that a lot, and sometimes I'm thinking, you know, just, just, just one person, just do that, but this ain't the movie for it. Now, I do know there's a movie called The Kissing Booth, which I need to do, because I think the second movie is coming this year, so I'm behind, but I'm going to be early for the second movies, hopefully. So, oh my god, Noah is in this movie. Ah, uh, Noah's in this movie, really? Why? I'm quite sure he owns, like, half of Netflix. He has a stake in Netflix. He has, like, 10%, 20%, or something. Because he's in a lot of movies, especially Netflix movies. Cover the movie. There's two guys, Noah and some other white dude. So there's like a competition for her heart. Okay. Moderate sex. No murder. Gotcha. Yield or desire. It was faded. So how's he wearing? Meet like this. <gasps> Wait, did someone just throw a pillow? I literally thought someone was just there, you know, being a third wheel and then threw a pillow. I hate when dad makes Korean food. It always tastes like butt. But regardless, whatever dad- That's Mona. That's Mona from Pillow Liars. Maybe there could be some killing because Mona's creepy. Josh. ROG. So, uh, what you cooking? She's in love with her sister's boyfriend. Pillow Liar vibes. You're driving. I forgot I have to drive with Lara Jean now. Or just feel free to take the bus. You know, if you guys are in a bind, I can give you a ride. Oh, uh, look at her face. She's like, yeah, you better. You better take me for a ride. A little humble. It's a plane ticket. I'm coming to Scotland. Hey, look at Josh stepping up. He was my first boyfriend. Well, space between the words, boy who was a friend. Okay, I was like, what's going on? He's just been bouncing between the sisters? Jean, because I remember that. So they were friends first. And then he was like, mm, I'm not really feeling you. Just not a little bit, or you're too young. Then she has a sister. He's like, okay, I want her. And then now he wiggled his way into the family. Then him and Mona, done her name, so it's Mona, they break up. And then he's like, you know, I've been in the family for two years. You got some other sisters. I'm gonna go after them. So, they invited me everywhere. Mm, look at everybody. Everyone's just kissing around them. About how sometimes I imagined what it would have been like if I'd realized how I felt about him sooner. The guy's giving me Edward type of vibes. Like he's trying to read her mind. Can't do it. So intense that I don't know what else to do. Rereading my letters reminds me of how powerful my emotions can be. Um, who said he can sleep in my bed? But you love him. I know. We both love him. I don't really think there's anything I can part with at the moment. <laughs> Her room's a mess. She does not read all of them books. Margo says that when something is no longer useful, you either donate it, recycle it, or throw it away. Oh, so we're gonna recycle boyfriends. Gotcha. You gonna be okay? Did you have to pick the furthest college you could possibly think of? Going to pubs and eating haggis with your Scottish friends and then you forget about all of us. I can Can't believe she's going to Scotland. What's in Scotland? Like, really? Don't turn around. What, and wave? No, that's not Margo. Oh, she didn't turn around. Oh, crap. Lo's like, you didn't turn around. I'm off to Josh now. Sixth grade and junior year. Oh, she's gonna crash. All set. She got a bike it's helmet. Very, funny. very necessary. Ow! Oh my god, Jen! Excuse you. I'm so sorry. I, I wasn't paying attention. Cute boots. 
Thank you so much for your service. They're vintage. All right, keep talking to me like that. I'm gonna stomp on your face. Chris, Jen's cousin, my best friend. My only friend, really. You know what? That's her cousin? Oh no, why are you here? The movie was great. It was 20, it was like almost 20 minutes without him. Jen's Peter. Seventh grade. My first real boy-girl party. <laughs> Look at her face. Close your mouth. Look like you belong in a horror movie. I'm drinking caffeine for some diet. I think she's just in withdrawal, so. <laughs> Why was no like she doesn't have a withdrawal? Why are they so loud? And they purposely put carrots? Why? Who brings carrots to the library? And why you got a thing against carrots? And that's what she has for lunch? Just carrots. I'd rather eat dirt. Tell me about this. Well, we're still cool, right? Oh no. I was third wheeling. You really didn't want anything to do with me. And now that you're single, you wanna kick it now? Miss. Allison wanted to sit next to me at lunch, but so did Brianna, but so did Katie. So I ended up rotating so everyone had time to sit next to me. You know? I bet you sometime in this movie, she can have the helmet and crash. Oh shit, we almost crashed. <laughs> it was Noah. Why did you not run him over? Kill Noah. We're fine. Really, seriously. Um, so you should just go. You better go. If I run you over. This is Blanche impression. Boyfriends could a naive farmer's daughter pop We ain't gonna connect that book to a TV with HDMI, a small screen. You had a boyfriend, then maybe you wouldn't have to drive at all because he would take his places. Depressing that it's Saturday night and you're having a Golden Girls marathon with your little sister. Mmm, hit it right there. She doesn't go around it, hit straight to the point. Still, Josh. She's gonna go on your phone. She about to go on your phone and send a text message to one of your exes or Josh. Or not exes, one of the people you like. Or she's gonna read your notes. She's gonna read your notes. I don't know how she's gonna find it because your room is incredibly messy. But that's gonna be a play right about now. I wanna say that I, I really I, I appreciate it, but it's never gonna happen. I'm sorry, what? It was the younger sister. Your younger sister gave the notes. What is she doing? She might have passed out. Whoa, 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 whoa. I knew it. Fainted. Oh. Okay. Yeah, give me a hand. Oh my god. Don't do it again. Oh, okay. Whoa. This ain't a safe zone. People kind of run over you. It's the black guy. No. How did I know it was Lucas? Why is he going into the girls' toilets anyway? Oh my god. I never thought you'd ask. That's what we're here for, to dance. Gay, right? I did not. Yes, of course, yes, I I did. I. He's gay? I didn't expect that. I really didn't. Okay, so three down, two more to go. And there's a bow on it. Wow, no hi, Dad, no why are you home early? Oh, maybe because... We don't care about it. Find the box. It was her. What's her name, Kitty? Speak up. They're out. There's nothing you can do about it. Silver lining, Kenny's letter was addressed to the bunks at camp. I lie awake at night and imagine running my fingers through your hair, feeling your strong arms around Shut me. up. Damn, a little bit intense. Oh. Ow. Ow. What were you trying to do? Does she normally do that? And just fall down. So it looks like she does that a lot. But her room is getting more messy every single time I see it. Hey, Covey. Ah, <sighs> Noah. You reject me right now? Well, yeah, because it didn't really seem like it took back the first time. Peter Kavinsky, I'm not trying to date you. I like how she always puts his last name in. I mean, who this mystery stud is, otherwise, I'm just going to go on. Believing that you have a secret tattoo of my face on your ass. Hold on, hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. I am not the only guy that got a letter. Yeah, you ain't that great. Is that sparkly bike out front, is that your ride? Yeah. Yeah. What of it? 
Is he gonna start liking her? Because she still can't go out with her sister's ex-boyfriend. Wait, she had to jump out of that car? She that small? She had to jump out? Everybody. <laughs> Why would you want that? Um, well, for starters, when Jen heard that you kissed me, she went nuts. Look, you don't have to give me an answer now. Just think about it, okay? Yep, don't Wait. hold your breath. <laughs> she couldn't be bothered to walk like five steps. She had to ride literally for two seconds. Are you that lazy? I should have known her bedroom is kind of, you know, messy. Hey. Hmm. How long have you two been hanging out? Uh, not long. Josh called 15 times? Let's say 15 or 5. I like how no one's bumping into her at all. Whoa! Whoa! That was way too sudden. He kissed her like he kind of meant it. Yeah, you might be the James Dean of this kind of stuff, but I've never had a boyfriend before. I know it. Not allowed to touch you. Okay, um, you, you have a point. How about this? You can put your hand in my back pocket. <laughs> back pocket? Who does that? I mean, people do it, but not really. Waist or ass? What? Are you serious? You've never seen Fight Club? Oh my god. How's she never seen Fight Club? Um, I could write your notes every day. This is kind of interesting. Every day? Oh. She's like, he will do that for me? You end up falling in love. Also, you have to come with me to my lacrosse games and parties. High ski trip was infamous for being the location where more students lost their virginity than senior week and- Oh, is this gonna be your first? Trip comes around. Peter and I will be ancient history. And that is the only reason I say. Okay. She's lying. They're gonna be together together. No faking it. Contract expired. <laughs> they both signed it. It don't make no difference. You might as well just write with crayon. Did you know that uh, my dad left us? Yeah, that was a while ago, right? Maybe you'd understand because your mom. Uh, not that it is anywhere near the same no, thing. No, it's totally fine. That's not the same. Completely different. But we get what you're talking about. Scared of commitment and relationships, but you don't seem to be afraid to be with me. Oh, because you guys are meant to be together. Ladies and gentlemen, you can count on her to be honest. Always. Wait, Peter. You're starting to like you, and you're still on about this contract. Read between the lines. Don't know how you ain't doing that because you read a lot of books. Oh, you put Bay in capitals. You put it on Instagram. You got the kind of official. Kind of. Almost. Basically. Ah! She blushing. Of course. There were still moments I wanted to disappear. Oh, there's Josh. You're like I haven't slept in days. You know you make me sound really boring, right, Josh? I'm not that innocent. <laughs> okay. You should have never seen it. I did see it. I so What am I supposed to do? Dude, chill. You date her sister. We're dating? Look, had I known I was gonna lose both of you like this, I wouldn't Stop. Don't finish that sentence. You're the what? Finish the sentence. I wanna know. So what the hell happens in the second movie? Cause... I don't see where we can go from here. Not kind of extremely racist. So why do you like this movie? Why are you even asking that question? The bigger question is why are we not hooking this up with a HDMI cable and put it on a big screen? I'm stuck with these two heathens. Mom, I told you that Lara Jean's mother passed away when she was little. Yeah, you better be sorry. How could you forget that? Nice, talking about her like it's normal. Like it's not some tragedy. I feel really, really guilty about it. I've never told anyone that before. I was about to say, has she spoken to her dad about that? Her older sister? Thanks. You're welcome. Oh. I thought it was like a cue for a kiss. It didn't happen. P.S. That's how it's tight, right? I don't know, Peter. It's like you don't have time for me. Oh. She gonna start spying. But she's not coming on the ski trip, is she? Because that's our thing. 
What does it matter? You have a boyfriend. I don't know what to tell you. It sucks. I'm sorry. Largy. So is she gonna go back with Josh? And then in the second movie, she goes with Peter. I don't want my sisters to see. Yeah, like Kitty's gonna care. I'm not talking about Kitty, I'm talking about Marco. Still together. We are still together. You're just trying to pull out because you're scared. What do I have to be scared about? Don't do it. That conversation was very deep. Don't go there. So what's up? Why is your boyfriend harassing me about coming on the ski trip? You know I don't do school functions. Guys on me all the time. Dude, no. Jen always gets whatever she wants and it's bullshit. Sure. Going to parties and making new friends. You made your old man very happy. What does the dad actually do? Like he's a good dad, but what does he do? Your sexual health. No, no, please no. As your father, I think you're too young to have sex. Oh, uh, how old is she? I want you to be safe. Ah, Dad, I knew why it. are you giving oh, no. me these? At least he gave you multiple. Safe sex, the best sex. Sometimes. Pretend I didn't say sometimes. Supporting safe sex. Hey, 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 where are you going? Um, you know, I'm gonna go sit with Chris. Chris, come on, look at her, she's sleeping. That crazy girl, um, oh. Jen, her. Huh? Is this seat taken? Yes, it's taken. By my back. Back off. Who goes to an EDM concert on a school night? Where are the chaperones? See you on Black Diamond, Peter. Last one down the slope goes the other hot toddy. Can't she just shut up? Please, can't she get trapped in like an avalanche? So you guys have been faking it this entire- <laughs> Wait, she told him? Oh shit. He's still so obsessed with Jen. And I'm just another one of the stupid girls who fell for Kavinsky. Maybe he's using Jen to make her jealous. I think he's waiting for me in the hot tub? Maybe. Hell yeah. <laughs> and sometimes. What? Yeah, I want him to sit next to you, Large. Yeah. Hey, hey, Noah's got some really big nipples. They're like pepperoni. I don't know. It's just there. His nipples are just like, just there. They look like little pepperoni slices. Is that the right clothing? What are you wearing? Oh my cute Cody. Oh, great. Oh, oh. I'm not that innocent. His hand is not in your pocket. Can you imagine Jen was looking and then Josh was looking? It was like through the window being creepy. Standing on his feet, the entire thing. Something about to happen. We have literally 31 minutes. It's gonna be like a big U turn. Don't tell me he's in your bed. Please don't be in her bed. Okay, yeah. Because that would have been strange. Oh, yeah, Jen. Slow your man. Who did you get? Nobody. Oh, I just mean. Like, a lot of girls would be pretty weirded out by their boyfriend sleeping in someone else's room. But where did you get that? Oh, Peter gave this to me. Isn't it so cute? I could've wrote this whole movie. I literally could've wrote this whole movie. For the first 20 minutes, I knew everything was about to happen. Except for, you know, Jen dying. Just saying. Just, just do that. Okay, you almost killed someone in the beginning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's... Do it perfect this time. I knew the hair band was gonna become a thing. My favorite scrunchie? Am I just a joke to you, Peter? No, 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 you're not just a joke to me thing to you. I would rather walk home. Actually, I'd rather drive myself than get in a car with you right now. Shit. She'd rather walk home. I'd rather drive home. I mean, she can't even drive. She's a virgin who <laughs> can't drive. You're a virgin who can't drive. Hey, little sister. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I better go get that. Is that Peter or is that Excuse Josh? Me. Time. Okay, those feelings aren't just gonna go away. I mean, we have history. I'm tired of being second best. I'm raising you like a god and you're just eating it up. Okay, look, I... Peter, I, just leave. Josh, what are you doing there? talk about this. She asked you to leave, buddy. Josh, I'm fine. Go back inside. No, it's alright. No, 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 no. How did Josh even know they were talking? 
safety? If Laura Jean broke up with you, it's probably because she's coming to the life-altering revelation that she's too good for you. You're in love with Josh? Oh, no, 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 no. It's no. Peter. I'm in love with Peter. It's a square. It's a love square now. Finished her exams early. It was, it was a surprise. Josh, you're just gonna walk away. You just caused all this havoc. And doesn't even say sorry. He doesn't talk to Mona. I just forgot her name a minute ago, but still. This guy just caused havoc and just left. Wait, Margo, please. I need your help. Help your sister out. Hey. LJ. We're gonna fix this. Give me the pillow. I like how the sister literally just forgave her. This movie is really about family I know unity. You're being nice. Do you think I would ever do that to you? You're my sister. Yeah, but you wouldn't even Skype with me. What am I supposed to think? Skip, skip Skype. For a minute. For a minute. Look what happened when you were gone. I I made a sex tape and I haven't even had sex. <laughs> it's a kissing tape. That's not really a sex tape. But still, whoever that was. Jen, we literally got to go after her and let's just run her over. I sent the letters. I'm going to kill you. Boyfriend was better on! Oh my God. She's so small, but she can move very fast. Give me the... If I can forgive you for writing my boyfriend a love letter, do you think that you could forgive Kitty for sending them? Yeah, she like 12. I couldn't believe I had inadvertently dabbled in porn before I lost my virginity, but... Dabbled in it's porn? Been it makes sense. She's okay. only 16. She has to have a screensaver okay. still? New Year's Eve. A time for resolutions. He's cleaning. It must be really bad. Yeah, she has not done that in a very long time. You know it was see us when she had the headphones on. You know your mother and I used to come here all the time when we were dating. Really? Look at this. Wow, this place has not changed at all. Oh shit. They treat the same colors, everything. Girls, but I haven't because just talking about her makes me sad. It's it's okay. It's not okay. I've relied on you and Margot too much. I know I have. Yeah, you kinda have. Just a little bit. But I know how you opened up when he was around. Definitely I know did. With us, you, you spoke about everything. So you said that she would always play the song twice? At least. Usually till they kick us out of here. Kind of wish Peter comes, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh. Is this Jen? This got to be Jen. Let's go after her. I told you. Let's trap her. Let's do something. What happened in the hot tub? Okay, so if I hear anybody talking about Lara Jean or that video, I'm going to kick all of your asses. Kick Jen. She's a girl. But, um, you can't do that. So, cousin, step in. I'm really sorry, okay, about everything. If, if I knew who did this. Well, I know who did it. So should you. That a girl did? I mean, that's despicable. Yeah, like I said, I didn't do it. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what that word you means, what? but I didn't do I it. I really liked him, and you kissed him anyway. It was spin the bottle, you psycho, and it was tongueless. Okay, well, it wasn't tongueless to me. This girl's 16. She's talking about something which happened at Kitty's age. She's obsessed. She definitely did it. Something needs to happen. I don't care what she just said. She was talking about I'm not as strong as I seem. Who cares? It's four years. That's literally 25% of your life you've been hating on this girl who kissed someone you liked. Imagine myself doing it and it's fine and then I get behind the wheel and I just completely freeze up and, and then I just don't know what to do. Yeah, you almost kill people. And I guess I didn't really realize how I truly felt about you until you became Marco's boyfriend. I like your self-confidence. I really do. Just don't try and kiss her. She's having a moment. But especially me. I love having a smarty pants fake girlfriend. <laughs> you have to put it fake in it. You still think you haven't gotten a love letter? Yeah. You got a bunch. Is it safe for her to be driving alone? Uh, judging from my past history. Okay. I drove here. Really? 
Yeah, I'm surprised too. She didn't crash once. Now, you know what? If you want me to read that, then you need to give that to me. I need you to know that I like you, Peter Kavinsky. And not in a fake way. What are you gonna do now, Peter? Make your move. Because I'm in love with you, Arch. Oh! She said like. Hey. He said love. You gonna break my heart, Covey? I'm gonna be so pissed off if they break up in the second movie. I'm invested now. I'm invested in this relationship. But that's how it ends. We don't do anything to Jen. Jen deserves something. Hopefully she gets it in the second movie. Is that it? The, okay, wait, it's a little thing to do with um, that kitty. It's for you. How far did he travel to get that? You, I'm gonna be doing you very soon. I think that's gonna be the next film on the record. So, like two, three weeks, because I got some stuff to do. But that was good. Okay, so to all the boys I've looked before, the second movie coming out on Valentine's Day, I think. I haven't seen the trailer fully. I've seen like the first 10 seconds. So, after this video, I'm gonna check it out. I really don't know what's that movie gonna be about. I really hope they don't break up. Don't give me a whole movie being invested in their relationship and then something happens. No, I don't want that. But, could happen. Maybe Josh, you know, starts falling for her or something. I really don't know what they're gonna be doing in that movie, but I definitely gotta check that out. I know I'm definitely gonna be doing it. Um, this movie was all about self-confidence, honesty, and family unity, which is kind of strange because in teen movies, they don't really have that or to that extent. There was so much family stuff, which I thought maybe the dad was gonna be kind of weird, you know, not really be like a dad figure. And then as soon as the mom died or I found out the mom died, I was like, okay, yeah, the dad's gonna be heavily involved in this movie, which he was. The same thing with the little sister and the older sister, even though she wasn't there when she was, she was having really deep conversations. Um, Noah, in the beginning of the movie, didn't kind of like her. It was very much a dick. But altogether, I did actually really like it. It's probably one of my favorite teen movies which I've seen which come out in the last five years. Take that with a grain of salt because I haven't seen that much which has come out in the last five years. But if you guys like this commentary, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.